You just stop thinking or feeling. You just survive and you're just like, okay, what's the next thing to do to get through this? How do we get to tomorrow? That day was the defining moment of my life. It was in my junior year of high school and I used to remember the date. And I used to, and I feel really bad about not knowing the date anymore. The police showed up early in the morning and my dad asked the policeman what they wanted and they said, you know, you're under arrest. And my dad said, okay. I think he just hugged me and he said something like, I'll be, I hope I'll be back soon. The policeman didn't say anything to me. They just left me there by myself. His release date is three years from now. 17 years in prison. Who are you? It's been almost a decade since I saw like a recent picture of him. Oh, I have to click to show the photo. Like that. And I think that's maybe why I keep all the pictures around. Because in those pictures, he looks like himself. But I don't have to think about him this way, because he's not. This isn't what I ever want to think about when I think about him. Dear Daddy, every time I told myself I was going to write you and didn't, I thought about you and loved you. I'm sorry for every day that went by that you didn't hear from me. All of those days were me building up the courage in order to get to this place. I want us to really know each other again by the time you come home. I love you.